Florida school nurses speaking out about why they're more concerned this year than last year, and COVID-19 is only part of the reason why. Here we are, back to school amid an ongoing, changing, and wildly stubborn global health crisis. As nutty as it sounds, this year we can say school nurses have been here before. They know what to do, um, so it's a matter of just carrying on. COVID protocols are well established on campuses. PPE, we're told, is in full supply. But for school nurses in Florida... Overall, I can say school nurses across the state are feeling a little frustrated and, and overwhelmed. For one, most schools in our state still don't have a full-time registered nurse on campus. Less trained LPNs or clinic aides fill some of the gaps, leaving RNs to split their time across multiple schools. I myself have three schools that I am in charge of. Catherine Burge is president-elect of the state's School Nurses Association and a full-time RN for Hillsborough County Schools, Florida's third largest school district. It's going to be a tough year. That's because along with the ongoing nurse shortage, health pandemic and more contagious Delta variant, Burge expects school health workers to be caring for an influx of medically fragile students who last year opted to e-learn but are now returning back to the classroom. Last year we saw possibly a little lower caseload as far as our medically fragile children, more COVID related last year. This year we're going to be dealing with everything. Still, Burge says school nurses will err on the side of caution, which will likely mean more calls home. I expect more phone calls to be made to parents to question exactly what the symptoms are. Burge asks parents for patience, keep sick children home. As for masks, this school nurse calls it a personal decision, one she's made for her own family. My children are wearing their masks and I am as well in schools just to protect everybody. Are you nervous about the, the year? I am nervous about just the stress, the mental health of everybody, the burnout, being tired of the word COVID and having to deal with it all. Last year, the ratio between school nurse to students went up in our state with one school nurse to nearly 2,500 students. That's triple what the CDC recommends. Katie Legrone, Florida 24 Network.